Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a new feature I'm gonna be starting to do on this, uh, on this channel. Now we normally do uh, live streaming, cooking meals in under an hour every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it's great when everybody joins me in. But we also do, when we do the live cooking, we also use a lot of herbs to make our meals and put into our meals. So I figured it might be a lot of fun to kind of do this on the channel and do it as a series and start to grow. I've got, I picked up a Aero Garden. Now I'm gonna show you in this video a quick unboxing and the setup of this. The one that I got was the Aero Garden uh, Harvest Elite. And I will leave a link to this in the description below. You can pick it up on Amazon and get shipped pretty quickly. Um, when I first actually bought it, I looked at it online. It looked bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's actually quite small, but it's perfect for the kitchen on the counter. It, this one's gonna grow six different types of herbs in this package. So let's follow along. We'll unbox this and then we'll get it set up and we will uh, do a follow-up every day for uh, the herbs to see how they're growing along. So hopefully you enjoy. All right, unboxing the Arrow Garden Harvest Elite. Now I got the stainless steel model here and uh, it has six pods to, um, to grow. We got the one that is the, the herb package. So that comes with um, six pod kits uh, and the herbs included are there's a thyme, curly, parsley, dill, uh, two types of basil, and a mint. So that comes in this package here. And all the pods are ready to go. Just have to put them into the arrow garden. So in this is the seeded pods, the grow domes, there's plant food, and there's also a quick start guide. So we'll go through the instructions before we uh, plant them, read through everything to see if it all works and then all packaged inside here just wrapped up it is smaller than i uh the pictures online make it look like it's a lot bigger than it is but i think once the herbs start growing it will uh, start to really fill out and uh, fill up on the counter but this it's actually the perfect size to fit on the counter or fit on your on your windowsill quite easily so i'll figure out where i'm actually going to finally put this but for now we'll get it set up on the in the kitchen counter now i know with the light going on all the time you might want to have it in a separate room but so there's the uh, plug that comes with it. Yeah, let's get rid of the packaging here and we'll get everything unwrapped. And this one's a stainless steel model. Uh, as I said, a little LCD screen on front. And it is uh, also available. There's a white one and there is also, I think there's also a black one. So this one this is the one I, I picked up. There's also actually different herb packs you can get uh, separately, but I just got the one that came that came with it. So, a little quick start guide for the instructions, and there's a warranty card in there too. So what I'll do is there we go. You can kind of see inside there. There's some tape to take off, and that you can. Uh, that's where you fill it up, and there's some tape to come off, so we can open open it up to add the uh, the rest of the water to get it started. I was imagining having to put it all together, but uh, it becomes basically all assembled. You just really have to plug it in. Uh, the light moves up and down. As you can see, as your herbs grow, you will start to have to just increase the height there so they, they have the room to grow. And uh, there we are. All one unit. There's a little LCD screen on front to get it set. I'll read through the instructions and uh, make sure I know what I'm doing before I uh, make you everybody watch here. So the instructions, are, I believe, are actually in the with the seed kits because there was nothing in that package. So. But it's all, all there to plug in, ready to go. Be handy. I'll read through these later and do maybe do another video on some of the tips it gives you. So in inside the seed pack, we're kind of ready to open up. This is where the magic happens. We'll uh, we'll see what's in there. And 
all the seed pods are there in the silver package. There's some plant, uh, plant food. Um, these are all sealed. And then there's the liquid plant food that will go in uh, every couple of weeks, I believe. I have to read through that. And these are little plastic domes that will go over the seedlings when, they first, uh, when we first plug it in to keep the moisture in. And there's the instructions. So there's a couple steps here. So I'll read through that and we will come back uh, once I've read through this and we'll get this uh, aero garden plugged in and ready to uh, start growing food. All right, the instructions are really simple to use. So basically all we want to do is fill up the aero garden. There's a little mark on the top that shows you the fill line um, using the filtered water from the Brita. Just because the water we have here is fairly minerally and hard, so I figured it'd be better to do filtered water, I think, in there instead of just tap water. And it takes just over jug. And so you see I've got it plugged in. It's already, already starting to, to circulate the water around because um, it is actually is, is almost full. So it, um, it, um, it goes. So next step is once it's filled up, um, we're going to drop in the, uh, the seed pods. Now there is, I, when I did plug it in at first, it walks through on the menu on the screen and it actually gives you a, a, a first option is to set the, the time. And that's why you can see the lights on because it goes through a whole selection. So if you plug it in, it asks you to select first set the time and then it goes through and asks you what kind of plant seeds you're going to be planting. And you select that and it basically starts the, the time in a cycle. It gives you a countdown of how many days. It started, right now it's starting at zero and we'll get into this in the next next video tomorrow when there's a bit more to see. Uh, so what we'll do is it gives a countdown of it says zero for the for the day zero and then um, it counts up when you have to add more more food. But we have to add the food at the end here but uh, it's asking you to basically put in the pods and it does say mention that uh, some of the plants the taller ones should go in the back, uh, medium ones along the sides and then the shorter shorter plants in the front and it, it it's labeled you won't necessarily be able to see it on this video but it's labeled on the top on how tall they grow so it makes it really easy to makes it really easy to know how to plant these you just have to basically we're popping them in it's uh it's quite uh, quite simple and they just kind of they don't clip in but they just kind of press in press in firmly and they'll stay they'll stay down super easy to set up i thought i was imagining something a lot harder than this so we'll put all six in and they're ready to go set in there perfect so the last step to uh, put everything on we want to make sure that um, they're all firm in there and then we're going to cover them with the it comes with six little these are just little plastic covers and that will keep the moisture in as the seeds are germinating And it does mention in the instructions to leave the domes on until the plants nearly touch them. Then you can take them off. So there we go. I just tap the light with my finger. And the last step that we are going to do in here is we will um, get ready to put the, uh, the plant food in there. And you can see the light. I'm just moving it down. so. It's as close to the to the seeds as possible as they're growing, and then we'll move that up as they hopefully grow. <laughs> and last up here, we're going to pad the plant food into the mixture. It um, it mentions to put in because we have the six pod uh, grower here. Aero that it mentions on the back to put two capfuls of the plant food in there. So we'll, we'll measure that off and we'll get that in. So it's easier just to raise that up and then this clips on and then the little opening to add our plant food will go in there. And we're gonna add in two capfuls and it's ready to go.
Great. So that's the setup for the Aero Garden Herb uh, Garden. We're going to have it start to grow. I've got it plugged in. It's ready to go. And we will do follow up videos for that every day. We'll take a quick look. Not much is going to happen in the first little bit, I'm guessing, because it's going to take about a week or so for the seeds to start sprouting. But we'll, you know, join me along and we'll follow along and we'll learn as we go and hopefully we'll be cooking with fresh herbs very shortly. In the meantime, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. It's always great to have you along. Make sure you can try and maybe check out some of the live videos that I do. So make sure you do hit the notification bell when you do subscribe. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up. And if you had any questions on the Aero Garden, uh, I'm learning as well, but uh, leave them in the description comments and comments below. We'll try and answer your questions and grow some fresh herbs or some fresh, uh, some fresh, uh, fresh meals. Anyway, so I'll catch you on the next video. We'll do an update on this tomorrow to see how it's coming along. And in the meantime, you can check out these videos. Thanks a lot for watching.